<laughs> I'm looking at the dolphins. No, like, hold on. There's something not right here. Something ain't right. Do make bills being shocked for this thing. The fuck? I wasn't sorry, we'll spin that shit. Yeah. Might have to, to turn it anyway. Yeah, we'll have to figure it out. <clears throat> I know. Long day for the both of us. Yeah. I just got done seeing a crap load of people. I just got done seeing crack people. <laughs> Sorry, YouTube, for a commentary. Yeah, we won't say any names or nothing. Yeah, no names or nothing. I mean, I'm not found by like Obra 87 or nothing like that. Yeah. I got HIPAA guidelines to follow through with. That's what it's called. <laughs> no faces will be shown on this video. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, for you guys watching, this is the rear suspension of a BMW i3. Uh, this is after installment of uh, lowering springs, the H&R lowering springs. Um, we're just trying to line it up and seal everything back up. Uh, a couple days ago, we had an issue where uh, we'll show you how to put it back together right. So as you can see, we cracked the dowel pin off of this and actually cracked if we install this you, there's actually micro cracks like right here and here this thing's pretty much effed uh, I wouldn't recommend using that anymore so I ordered a whole new piece from BMW it's here and uh, me and a good friend of mine are popping this back together this is like a two man job regardless of what you do and we'll show you in a little bit why because one man has to hold the camera well, no, the other man is going to have to push down on the lever. Yeah, that's where... Uh, yeah, there, the, there is the no... control arm and knuckle assembly. Yes. That's where it uh, comes to play. Right. Because we can't play around with that. Yeah. Definitely can't. Got to be careful with all that, too. Doing that mistake is costly. Because it slips and... Uh, that is a costly mistake. All right, guys, this is the part that's going to take two people. A bunch of ways to hurt yourself. That's definitely it. So, I'm going to leave this here. Uh, right about so. The one person way would be to remove all this stuff. Yeah, that's pretty much the one person way. But. Actually, let's, let's, let's zoom back in. So there's that's where it actually has got to go into. That's the three bolts. Uh, one here and the two in the rear. There's also the holes for the dowel pins. You see one of them has a little nick in it right here. Yeah, that's where that's the last one missed. missed. And now the, the other one with the miss is up here. We missed. So James is actually going to snake that through there. It was the other way around, bro. Like two that way and one the other way. No, I don't think so. I think I started off this way and then twisted. Went up like Egyptian dance up this bitch. Yeah, 
so a couple of people were asking like how do we get it through uh, you got to care for these wires so yeah, you these got some BM sensors those are the BMW leveling sensors that love to break just Watch like this uh, aluminum I forget axle boots you do yeah. have a rear axle a rear wheel drive car you don't want to mess up the boot first time we were like literally done <laughs> and then, <laughs> until life yeah. just stopped <laughs> like, so fucking dramatic <laughs> there we go dramatic life stopped life stopped like oh lord jesus what did we break today oh, sensor Krishna, whatever her name is. <laughs> I'm getting caught on the here and I'm getting caught on the axle. This is where you just gotta be a little patient with it. Exactly. It'll work out eventually. Where am I hitting? Still hitting that fucking axle. Dunzo. This is where we made the mistake. This is where the mistake and was. It's an easy mistake to make once you do one side and you just get a little excited. But uh, so basically, line up the dowel pins first. It should be flush on all sides before we even close up. You line up the dowel pins first and then you worry about the strut. Yeah, don't worry about the strut at the bottom. <clears throat> is it lined? Uh, yeah, that one's lined up. Get them down no, it's in. flat. Just try to snug it up as much as you can, like hold it up as much as you can. And, uh, I'm a little super He Man tight, but I didn't go super He Man tight. Just snug it up so the dowel pins don't leave the, uh, the holes where they're supposed to be. At. The rest are just pretty much self explanatory. If you took it apart, you can put it back together at this point. Pretty much. But that's what we thought too, so. Yeah, we just. <laughs> like I said, we got a little excited. Got a little excited to see what I3 looked like dropped. It's been done a couple of times before, but it's always fun when you do it yourself. One more. help out to like because you gotta use so much force to lower the knuckle down to match up with the uh, the bottom hole so you could line up the bottom bolt for the um this it'll help out to be as snugged up there as possible don't go full tight until i didn't go full done. tight but i just want to make sure that there's no yeah, space it definitely helps out it's snug that's beautiful. Yeah, I just gotta tighten it down a little bit. Alright, so this is uh this is the hole that we gotta match up with. So you guys gotta know. This is this right here has to match up Easy in the with is just little, that right there. Yeah, this little thing right here, that's actually where your bolt ends up inside. So that's quite a you have to match up this seat and this almost like a race almost, but it's not a race because it don't spin, but you have to match up this seat with the inside part of this seat. It'll match it up. And the only way to do that is to muscle it down. So we're gonna put a pry bar right here through this right here. Put a pry bar right through there. The 
better for more leverage. Yeah, the longer the better, the better the better the yeah. leverage. Be careful with paint, be careful with... Be careful with the sensors, be careful the, with missing. The, the bar itself, you don't want to hurt yourself. Alright, just gonna use this. <clears throat> That's what I did last time, right? Yeah. Alright, ready? Good. So now we just got to make sure that seat sits in snug. Yeah. It's snug? If it's not snug, then I will. And you know, see how it fits pretty flush. Right there. Sure. Snug, flush. It's good. Perfect. Now all I got to do is tighten up top. Then we should be now, good. Yeah, you should look up the torque specs for this bolt and the top three. And you can torque them down to spec. That way you won't have uh, any issues. And you have the peace of mind that it was done right the first time. Right. And or the all, second time in our case. In all reality, these top bolts, by the way, came off pretty easily by yeah, hand. Yeah, like, when you go to back them out, they feel really, really like loose already. Like it, On both sides, really. Yeah. Is, so uh, 12 stars oh yeah, that we and used. You'll need, well, yeah, we kind of. You used a 12 We're kind of hacking that way, but you should use a torque socket. Appropriate size. Where did we put that? And, uh, yeah, you'll be all set. This is just a 17, I think. Yeah. Yeah, it's a regular 17 socket, and you'll be all set. Might be in the set still. I might have put everything back on the other side of the car. <clears throat> Alright guys, I'm going to put the spacer in there too. So this is uh, a 15, we're ordered 20 millimeter spacers. But, uh, stupid seller sells the 15s. Uh, I won't name any names on eBay. So, Alright, uh, we're going to use a 48 millimeter. You should, you should name names so all the people avoid them. So, well, he sent me some new ones, but... This packaging kind of sucked. He was pretty cheap. Uh, 28, 27 dollars. 28 for the fronts, and 27 for the 20s. Makes no sense. We saved a dollar ordering 20s, but not really the other side. Not bad for a CNC machine. Yeah, pretty good. It's not bad. I like it. But other than that, oh, and don't forget it's got to be hub centric. Yep, 66.6 .6 is the hub centric, so it lines up. Pretty perfectly. Up with your factory it's rims. a five by one twelve, and we're gonna use that factory rim. So gross, the factory donuts. <laughs> Bicycle tires. Don't kill me, BM guys. No, he's good. All right, this is us signing out. <laughs>